Hope everyone's having a tremendous day. And uh, recently I've been scouring the interwebs and I found something really cool. Check this video out from YouTube. I just caught one of the craziest looking yellow perch I've ever caught in my life. You can see that that one is yellowish and this one is pretty much pale. I mean, it's a very good, decent sized one, but I want to believe that this is some crazy pigment disorder. Like I've never caught a yellow perch that was pale like this and totally healthy looking. <laughs> so that video got me very interested in uh, answering the question, why are some walleye and some perch blue? So I did some research online and came up with a few things. I came across this uh, Fishing Canada article about this topic and first they were talking about blue walleye. Now the blue walleye once roamed the waters of uh, Lake Erie. The last known blue walleye was caught in the 1950s and they were officially declared extinct in the 1980s. Yeah, as you can see here, many people have still caught walleye that are looking blue. So they were wondering if those were the extinct species of the blue walleye. But genetic testing had revealed that this type of walleye, the recent blue walleyes, were all genetically the same as the walleyes that you catch regularly with the gold color. So if they're genetically the same as the normal walleye, why are some of these walleyes blue? Well, the scientists have determined that the acidity in those lakes sometimes are getting more acidic and so some walleyes are susceptible to bacteria that are thriving under these acidic conditions and turns their skin blue. This hypothesis seems quite plausible since research have shown that lakes, freshwater lakes are growing more and more acidic, actually a lot faster even than the ocean because of more carbon being deposited into these bodies of water. A similar phenomenon is happening to the perch as well. And uh, there are some perch that's being caught uh, that are actually blue. Check this video out. Dude. Boom. Look at the colors, man. There. Body. Blue Jeez, jumbo. That's super cool. That's yeah, you gotta get a picture of this guy here, that's for sure. In fact, genetic testing of blue perch reveals that genetically they're the same as yellow perch. So the increased acidity of the lakes can attribute to the perch turning blue. So why are some perch turning blue and some are not? Well, a lake is a very diverse environment, so that you're gonna have pockets that are more acidic than others, A. And B, I do believe that there is a genetic component that some fish are more susceptible to having that bacteria on their body and uh, expressing the blue color than other fish as well. I too have caught one of these before. I'm gonna show you a picture. This is before my YouTubing days. And on one side, you'll see a very yellow looking yellow perch. And on the other side, it's a bit of a bluer tinge perch. It's not all the way blue, like some of these uh, specimens that you're seeing here, but it's definitely different. To me, the increased acidity of the lakes turning some of the perch blue because of the bacteria levels um, seems to be the most plausible explanation however i cannot rule out that uh, some of these are actually in the blue walleye or blue perch of a completely different genetic strain for that we would need more funding for research but as you all know our government um, doesn't have a lot of money because they're spending too much money on things like this And they're spending too much money on things like that. At this pivotal moment, I see several priorities for the global agenda. So unless more research is done, it's hard to conclude one way or another. Hope you enjoy watching this video and found it informative and entertaining. And I hope to bring you more stuff in the not too distant future.
Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.